Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should wait out from upgrading your motherboard until the next series, or you should purchase one now. And I like to do these kind of videos um, because, especially, this requires a lot of research and knowledge about the market. And I find these videos very helpful for people that I want you know are asking me questions and it's easy to just to hand them a video be like hey watch this it explains everything I'd say rather than having to type out you know the paragraph or so that I need to to really accurately de you know describe what's going on so if you're unfamiliar um, AMD has not officially released the X570 uh, and the X or B570 B550 sorry chipsets but pretty I would say 90% likely that's what's going to happen um, and you're obviously going, well, obviously, should you upgrade, uh, and should you wait? And, um, the answer to this question is actually going to be one of these, uh, one of the first that I've actually given on this channel to actually w wait and see what we get on the ship set. And the reason why I say to wait is because at the time of this video, it's beginning of March, and, uh, supposedly, uh, around May, uh, we're supposed to get a lot more information about these new processors and, therefore, the new motherboard chipsets. So, what's in these chipsets that's worth waiting for? Well, we've got uh, PCIe Gen 4.0 support, which obviously basically means, uh, I don't know, that was, that was an interesting contrast of words there, it basically means that when we, in the future, if you're ever off in the future and you want to upgrade your graphics card, um, and for some reason that graphics card uses more bandwidth than the 3.0 um, PC, or PCIe standard, then you don't have to upgrade your whole motherboard, um, and especially with some extremely promising leaks um, from the Ryzen 3000 series, like six cores, 12 threads for like a hundred bucks. I definitely think that there's going to be a lot of value. A lot of people are going to buy um, those processors, and I feel like those processors will last a good bit with the amount of cores and the frequency they're supposed to be at. Rumored um, that we really people won't really need to upgrade their motherboards for a good while, except when maybe DDR5 comes out uh, in 2020. Um, so that really raises the question then. You know, should you wait or should you not? And as I said, I think you people should really wait to get that extra feature. Now, obviously, you're going to have better power delivery. A lot of people, a lot of these leaks also said that um, the power delivery, especially on these six cores, 12 or 32 thread processors that were supposedly going to be floating around, 5.1 gigahertz boost is going to be a hefty amount of power draw. And so these VRMs are going to probably be some of the best that we've seen so far without a doubt, hands down. We're going to probably see some of the best hand, uh, VRMs um, probably for, if not the next generation, um, we'll probably have a slight improvement, but this will definitely be a substantial increase in VRMs. For example, I have the Tiachi X370 motherboard, which was considered the best VRMs for the X370 motherboard chipset, and therefore if you go up, I've actually done some, or done some builds uh, with the X470 chipset, and those VRMs are about the same. Um, some other boards have a couple more power connectors, a couple more VRMs, but mostly are more better VRMs, but mostly um, nothing's really substantially changed in the sense that it's still, uh, you know, you can still throw any of those processors on and still get support. Obviously, a new Ryzen processor, for example, this 3000 series, the 16 core one that's rumored floating around, if I throw it on here, yes, it will work. Obviously, AMD promised support. But I don't think the overclocking will be as fun, um, obviously. So I think that if you really want to get the best overclocking, um, even on a past processor, if you want to get some uh, future support, or not future support, I guess, uh, be ready for the, any future graphics cards that come out, I think that's really going to be the best chipset and best idea to wait. Um, so obviously for people, as I said, I'm actually working with somebody right now who's um, in the process of upgrading their pre-built, which has been a long winding road um, that basically uh, I'm going to also give him this video to kind of tell him hey you should wait because it's really really going to be worth it in the long run so you don't have to upgrade your motherboard again um, as soon um, and just a lot of safe a uh, lot of safe or uh, what is it thought of mind or uh, peace of mind that's what I was looking for peace of mind uh, that you don't have to constantly upgrade or worry about upgrading it in the future um, with, with that support in that graphics card but thank you very much for watching Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, give the video a thumbs up. And as always, uh, check out my channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, builds, etc. And uh, goodbye.